How you doing folks? Ian McConnell here from Tom Fly Fishing. You're very welcome to another episode on the river. Today I'm going to talk to you um, or show you the reason why Perdigons are so effective on the river. Um, they're unbelievable, very very effective for catching multiple fish and big number of fish. So um, before we get going, um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and um, if you like this video don't forget to share it. So um, let's get cracking and uh, I'll show you how good they are. Okay, so just before I start fishing, i um, just going to show you the gear I'm using. So we've got our Ton Endurance 10 foot 2 3 weight, um, and the two nymphs in question are my favourite little Perdigons, which is the black and fire orange Perdigon. Um, this fella, he has a silver bead, and this guy here in the point, he has a copper bead. Now, um, the tip that I'm using is 0 0.12, um, so it's very, very light setup. Uh, I have bicolour indicator on as well. The, the whole leader is roughly twice the length of the rod, so that's all you need. I'm going to start fishing here in this bit of a run. I'm going to work my way up to the very top. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish either side of it, left or right, and then fish in the middle. But um, the main thing um, that makes these flies work so well is that there is no um, bushy material except for the tail, but the tail is streamlined. Um, the whole body is streamlined, so there's no bushy material for the um, flow to catch it. So it's it's hydrodynamic, if you want to call it that. You know, it just shoots straight to the bottom, so the flow won't catch it, um, and you just get right down to where the trout are. So look, we give it a cast here, and um, see how we get on. All right, hopefully we get some fish. Start the far side first. Flies are just something lovely, and straight away into the fish. Um, can't get better than that, I suppose. Keep jumping about. Like you can see, automatically they, they just literally sank to the bottom instantly, straight down to where the fish were. Oh, the top lip. So it's a lovely fish. Nice start. Um, he's not massive, but I'm happy with that. So we keep going. See if we can get another. Alright, so only after moving up a couple of feet, that's all. Um, fish up through this run slowly enough um, and see what you can pick out of it. So I'm going to start on the near side again. She was sitting on the bottom of the, the river there. Some nice jumps out of it. There you get. Just jumped into the net there. So you can see that fly he caught there in his mouth. That fly just got right down, cut through the flow, and got to the bottom of the, the river bed there where he was sitting. So they're really, really effective. I'm going to try that again. See if we can get another fish. Okay, there you go. There's another fish. You can see that he wasn't in the frame. This guy was just below me. So um, I'd imagine when the fly was coming up from the bottom, he's seen it. Um, There you go, so like I'm only here a couple of minutes um, and I've, I've a few fish there so far so you can see how effective these perdigons are they're, they're unbelievable Alright, so I'll give this area another cast Straight down they go Just watch your indicator you can also let your flies just sweep down through the flow and let them rise again, like your wet fly fishing there. Let them sweep around. Um, there's always a chance of a, a pull as well, you know. 
it's not all about just casting your flies upstream, you know. Fish them right down, cover as much water as you can. So I'll try the near side again. There you go. A fella just sitting there. It must be like a small shoal in here in front of me. There you go, pinged into the net. There you go, hook come out. Perfect, this is great fishing. I'm just gonna check my line there, I think I have a small tangle, so I'll get back in a minute. Okay, so got out of that tangle fairly quick. Um, flies back fishing down through the middle. Seems to be a few fish there. There you go. Pretty small one. Good to see these wee small fish, at least you know they're, they're uh, fish are breeding successfully, you know. Okay, up the near side again. Try the far side this time. Uh oh, I don't think I'm anywhere. Go on the tree. Alright, guys, so I'm back in action. I just changed my um, dropper fly to something a wee bit more flashy there. It just has a pair of body on it and um, fluorescent fire orange tail. Very simple fly. Um, hopefully, something to grab it. The water's a wee bit dirty, but um, we're still catching fish, so. Um, just thought I'd change my flight, see what the reaction is like, so. Let's just not try and catch that tree. Not many on the near side, most of the fish seem to be lying from the middle out to the far side. Lovely. I caught him just where the suds are on the far side there. 
Um, nice bit of slack water over there. See, this guy seems to be alright. Give me a nice pull around. Um, I'm not gonna, not gonna put too much pressure on him. Come on. You need to be very careful as well. Um, when fish go downstream, there's a lot more pressure in the line. There's um, a good chance the hook will come out. Now, if you played him alright, it, it will happen. You know. So I'm just gonna try and coax this guy out of the main flow, skim across the top. Probably less resistance on him. That's it, there you go. Job. It's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Look at that fella there. He's a real nice one. Yeah, so these Paragons are they're fairly, fairly doing the business here today. That's why I love fishing them so much. They're so so effective. It's unbelievable. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that there for today. Um, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my days fishing so Thanks very much for watching and um, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, don't forget to share. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again. Good luck.